Hello everyone, today I'll be doing a review of the Lego Harry Potter 3068 Monster Book of Monsters. This set has one minifigure and used to be a Harry Potter set promotion. On the back of the box you can see a few of the functions, with this part moving up and down. That means this set is quite technical, even for just a small promotion set. Uh, the minifigure is Draco Malfoy. Um, the only difference from him and the other versions of him is that this one has different legs. But they're in the same colour as well. Uh, there's not much else to this set, apart from the uh, small function. When you push the book backwards and forwards, the uh, mouth opens and closes. Yeah. Let's open the box. Inside there's two, four bags, or five bags, one unnumbered bag and four bags of numbers. Bags numbered one and two. Thankfully the sticker sheet isn't too big. Uh, the instruction booklet is actually portrait, which is slightly unusual for some sets, but that's alright. Uh, I'll see you when I finish building. Now that I've finished building this set, I would like to do a review. On the top of the book, there's the title reads The Monster Book of Monsters. All this detailing here is with stickers, and there are no prints in this set. Each, well, the word monster uses two stickers, same as the title up here. There's another sticker down here, and same as down there, but that's just for detailing. There is a lot of fur detailing on the stickers in this set. Uh, these are actually all the stickers in this whole set, no other stickers. They don't take a long time to apply, apply thankfully. There are four eyes here and a lot more fur detailing. At the front of the book here, there are a few tendril whack pieces like this. These pieces are made with root pieces, tree root pieces, and there are some teeth here. These two builds are the exact same. The tongue here is a bit of an issue for me, though it looks quite nice. It's actually almost always off center, because if you look inside, you can see that the tongue is on a ball joint, which is that black piece there, which means the tongue can swivel around. But the ball joint is on another thing, which moves around. So whenever this is pushed against that, it normally goes to the side of it. So that is very annoying. It's also hard to keep in place. And sometimes it takes a while to put it in place after it's been moved. And going around to the side of the book, there are a few more tendril pieces. These pieces here are actually recolored teeth pieces. So these are actually individual teeth pieces, just in a different colour. Um, these one by two pieces with a sort of lion pattern are meant to represent pages and they look surprisingly nice. I think I, repur I prefer this sand colour over the white colour. The sand colour makes it seem a, a little bit nicer. Around there's not really any detail in here. There's just a curve on the spine, just a few curves. I wish the spine had more detailing. It would be amazing if Lego managed to put the title on the spine, but originally this set was kind of made to be a promotion, a, ha a Lego Harry Potter promotion. Going around on the other side, it's almost the exact same as the start we just looked at. Not really any differences here. On the underside of this set, there are four bumper pieces 
and some wheels to operate the uh, mouth mechanism, mechanism I showed you earlier. So if we just keep Draco Malfoy and put him right here, and we hold the book by the spine and this little section here. This section is not connected to this, not directly connected. So this section does not move. Now when I roll this forwards and backwards, there's a thing inside that is attached to the wheels which move, moves around. It bumps the mouth open and, and then the mouth falls back down just because of gravity. This mechanism is actually a really fun play feature, but unfortunately sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, I actually had a little bit of trouble with the wheels on the other side. Sometimes I have to open the mouth and push the wheels down a bit or squeeze the wheels together to stop them from rubbing against these sides here because they don't always work most of the time. They don't always work all of the time. The mouth doesn't actually open very far. It only opens to fit not really anything. So it is very hard to do maintenance. And if you wanted to do maintenance, you would have to move this piece up around and somehow get access to that piece in there which is actually a Lego Technic axle. Somehow you would have to pull it out, do the same for the other side and then you would have to take the top off which is just this cover section and work around with the insides. This set is this set's quite technical but at the same time not really technical at all. There's just wheels and that's about it on the inside. So and so it's not too technical. The set feels a little bit bigger and smaller. I, I thought the set would be bigger, but now that I think about it, it's a bit small, but now it feels too small. Oh not small enough sometimes. I mean if I just put Draco and Malfoy next to the set, the size comparison is very different. If the set feels too big and it should be smaller, but when I want to do things with the set, I feel like the set should be bigger. So it would be, it would be nice if we could get a remake of this in the future, just bigger. Um, this is Draco and Malfoy figure here is the same as seen in other sets. He has a normal wand piece. The only difference to, from this Draco Malfoy compared to other versions of him is that the legs are actually shorter. These are medium sized legs, so they can still be posed and moved like the large ones. But unlike the large ones, well, they are much smaller and only have one stud on the bottom, or one anti-stud here. With the small ones, these areas are completely blocked up. You can, cannot pose Draco Malfoy at all. And the legs here, like this part isn't here. The small legs are just one big piece and they are definitely shorter than this. So they have an, a slightly unusual shape compared to other like, minifigure legs. That's all for this set. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.